Language is the medium of communication and to communicate with the computer we need a common language. We call it computer language, a language that computer can understand. Let us learn about computer languages. If people want to talk to each other, they need a common language that both of them can understand. If one person speaks Hindi and the other person speaks English, both of them can't understand each other's language. How will they communicate? They need an interpreter who can interpret for both of them. Computer is a machine, so it cannot understand our language. It understands only two states of switches, that is, on and off. Switch on is represented by a code 1, while switch off is represented by code 0. These codes are called binary codes. Let us know more about computer languages. Computer language As you know, computer is a machine that works on electricity. Depending upon the two states of electricity, presence or absence of electrical pulse, a computer can understand only binary language that is the language of zeros and ones. We use ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, codes, made up of binary digits to represent alphabet and decimal numbers inside the computer. Binary language is also known as machine language. In the beginning, programs were written only in machine language, since it was the only language understood by the computer. Types of computer languages There are three types of computer languages. Machine language, assembly language, high-level language. Machine language the lowest and the most basic form of computer language is the machine language. This language is coded in binary language that is made up of zeros and ones. Zero represents off state, that is no electrical pulse, and one represents on state, that is presence of electrical pulse. Remember, a computer can understand this only at its machine level. Every instruction has to be written in zeros and ones only. The programs written in machine language are called object programs. Assembly language Coding a program in binary form was very tedious. To overcome the difficulties of writing machine codes, assembly languages were developed in 1950s. These languages used symbolic codes called mnemonics to write any instruction. A mnemonic is a short name given to an instruction. For example, sum for addition and sub for subtraction. The program written in assembly language has to be translated into machine language and then only it can be executed by the computer. Assembler is the software program that translates assembly language into machine language. The program written in mnemonic codes is called source program. High-level language High-level languages use English language words to give instructions to the computer. A software program called interpreter is used to translate high-level language into machine language that a computer can understand. Nowadays, normally programs are written in high-level languages. Some examples of high-level languages are Logo, Basic, C, C++, Java, Visual Basic, etc. Advantages of high-level languages They are easier to learn than assembly language. The programs written in high-level languages can be executed in any computer, unlike symbolic language programs. They are easier to maintain. They require less time to write. They provide better documentation. Caution. Never work on computer continuously for several hours. Take a short interval of 5 to 10 minutes after working each 30 minutes. Some important terms. Program. It is a set of instructions given to a computer in a computer language. Software. 
it is a set of program which enables the computer to obtain the solution of a problem assembler it is a program which is used to translate programs written in assembly language into machine code compiler a compiler translates a program written in high level language to executable machine language program that is the object program the object program is generated and executed to get the desired result interpreter some high level languages use interpreters to translate programs using interpreter one instruction in the program is translated and executed then it takes the next instruction and translates it for execution this way each instruction is translated and executed one by one in turn